everyone, this is Sophia in LA. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna have a videos twice a week. Once in a while, there's a vlog in between the makeup videos. And I have a lot of skincare videos because I really focus on my skin. And most of my videos have English subtitle. All I talk in English and have a Korean subtitle. So you won't have any problem understanding either in Korean or English. So today I have a new Ofra Cosmetics makeup which is made by Ofra and Nikki Tutorials collaboration. And it has a one highlighter and three liquid lipsticks. I already had a lip swatch video of Ofra Cosmetics matte liquid lipsticks. I think it was over 15 of them. I gave some away to my subscriber and now I have 12. And I have a two new regular size matte liquid lipstick. And I already done a makeup tutorial and swatch with this eyeshadow named Bliss. Check out my other video with Ofra lip swatches. Overall, Ofra matte liquid lipsticks are comfortable, very easy to apply. It doesn't dry out as it goes matte or make a clumpy inner lip ring. I really enjoy this matte liquid lipsticks. There are some shades that I had to buy a backup, such as Pasadena. This is the perfect nude shade and I really like the blue mask and also mocha is a very nice nude lip color I'm gonna show you how I apply these two new stuff from Ofra today highlighter, liquid lipsticks and Ofra's makeup fixer so if you like Ofra's makeups or if you like a Nikki tutorial give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel and keep on watching so let me quickly mention about my face today if you're following my Instagram, you know that I got my bras microbladed. So I got it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Only four days has been passed. I didn't do any brows today. I had to sort of avoid the brow area because the healing process is not really done yet. So until yesterday, I didn't put any makeup. Eventually, by the end of next week, my brows will get much lighter and lose some color. I'll be okay with this um, dark color eyebrows. Actually, without the makeup on the bare face, it's quite dark. So I'm excited for my new brows and I'm gonna make a separate video about where I got it, how I get it, and the process of microblading and post microblading. So make sure to subscribe my channel to look out for that video in the future. I'm wearing a new foundation for the first time. It's from Jue Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. It's my first time uh, using it. I use Beauty Blender to apply it. I use a really small amount at the beginning and add up some more as I go on. I really like it. The shade I applied is Found and it's a perfect match for my skin color which is MAC NC30 or most of the other foundations. Light medium to medium. I could say it's a little bit yellowish it's not a problem. I really like this foundation. I use a Biter eyeshadow palette. Most of the colors I use today is this, this, this. I only use this color for the eye line, but these purple eyeshadows are what I'm wearing right now. And for my face makeup, for the bronzer and the blush is from the Hourglass. Uh, this is a palette that I've been using for past three months, and I really enjoyed this palette. So this. And this is what I'm wearing on my face right now. Nikki. Nikki from Nikki Tutorial is frankly one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, at first, I just didn't really enjoy looking at her makeup tutorial because her makeup tutorial was perfect but not realistic to me. So it was a little far from my um, actual day-to-day -day makeup. So I watched her on and off. Frankly, as I am a YouTuber and I watch um, a lot of YouTubers, there are some people that I really like even behind the camera. She is one of the person that I really like her personality. Even though I don't watch her every single makeup tutorial videos, I really support her and like her. And therefore, if she collabed with any of the uh, makeup brands, I will strongly support her. So this is a shade. When I swatch separately, it's gonna show like this. I mean, darkest color is not really a wearable as a highlighter for me. But these two shades, especially if they are mixed together, it's gonna be a beautiful highlighter. 
So when I swirl it around, it sort of makes a very unique shade. Not even similar to any of the other colors. So I really like to make uh, something like this shade or get the lighter two shades mixed together. Today I'm gonna use a two different shape of highlighter brushes. This is from Sigma Spotlight Duster F37. It's very loose, so very forgiving. It will not give a harsh line on the cheekbone. This is High Cheekbone Highlighter F03. I like using this over fan brush. Fan brush can sometimes leave a too obvious line on the cheekbone. But with this, I don't leave a line but make a very distinct highlight. Let me start with mixing these two on the bottom. I would be happy if I just apply more than happy. I mean, it's, it's so, you know, it's so pigmented that I cannot go light on this. This is gonna help a lighter application for you. So I've used two colors together in the bottom row. So I already like how it gives a highlighter effect, but not that metallic or chunky look. I think when I go out in the sun, it will just gonna be beautiful. Other side, let me use this brush and give a little bit of a bold highlight. I'm gonna dip one time here, but four times in the other one. Are you ready? Because I put a little bit of this darkest color into the brush, it gives a little bit more color to it. But when I use the other two together, it will be just a perfect highlight effect. A little bit softer, bold. I can skip the nose part. Reject the nose, a little bit of forehead. And the nose tip. So actually I'm applying one of these matte liquid lipsticks on me called Nude Potion. I have a relatively thin lips so I don't really enjoy putting a nude lip color. This has a right amount of a pink in it so it doesn't make me look dead. If it's a beige nude, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't work with a beige nude color, but this is a pink nude. I applied this about an hour ago. It's all dry. It doesn't have a stickiness at all. It's very comfortable. Always offer some liquid lipsticks are very comfortable on my lips for many hours. So the second color I'm gonna pull on is Spell. I don't know how it will look on me because I'm not really friend with the orange lip shade. Well Nikki, this is my first time I ever put this orange lip color on my face. Uh, you made me do it, but I don't know about this. What do you think? If I'm wearing a bright, flowery, Hawaiian dress and put this lipstick on, it would look perfect. It's just that, yeah, right now I have a purple eyes and orange lips. I have to say, it applied very evenly, beautifully. I thought it might get a little streaky in the beginning, but when I applied it, it has a beautiful sheen on the lips. As I look over and over, I'm enjoying it. Okay, the last shade is Coven. Coven is a coffee with a vanilla cream. It's like a coppery chocolate color. I'm a little scared of this dark color. I don't know about it. It's definitely something new to me. All these are new to me actually. This is the fairest nude that I ever tried and this is the most orange color and this is the most chocolatey color 
and it's seven metallic. I might not wear this daily, but if I get a chance to see Nikki in person, then maybe I should wear this and show sure that I can pull over this color too. Maybe I have to have a little different color of an eyeshadow and a clothing. Yeah, it's really fun. Most of all, these liquid lipsticks are really comfortable on the lips. It's not drying. These are long-lasting liquid lipstick. They stay on your lips really, really long without turning into the dry clumps. So these two, I ordered it off from Octoly. Uh, Octoly is a site for YouTubers. I can order and receive it for free, but as a return, I have to give a review. But there's no obligation that I have to give a positive review. That's a good thing about the Octoly that I can easily shop the products as if I'm shopping in other you know, online shopping mall. As a return, I have to give a review within three weeks. I don't have to concern about the relationship with the brand so I can be really honest on my opinion. This makeup fixer, Light Mist, I freaked out because the package was all soft and had a hole and this was about to fly out from the envelope because it had only the neck holder that holding this spray nozzle but it didn't have any cap and it, somehow it was leaking and later I found out this part was a little bit loose so please fast enough this part so it doesn't leak while the shipment I heard Kathleen Knight saying that this has a very very fine mist Today I wanted to be in the frame so I was a little close I need to be a little bit more farther away It's not as evenly fine mist Some parts were giving out a little stronger than rest of the parts so I have to adjust my arm not to get a very strong mist. This is a nice makeup fixer with a little bit of floral scent in it. So I might be really enjoying it. I don't think it's gonna be a travel friendly. Uh, it's eight ounce. <laughs> it's a huge one. Thank you Octoly for sending this to me. And Nikki, I really like this highlighter. They're not my favorite shades, but Quality wise, they are great. I might have to mix one another to see the color because I think these two together will make a very pretty color that I would enjoy. So if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and follow my Instagram, my top things and I'll see you next time. Bye!